Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, this is Tony, and welcome to today's video. Today, we got some special stuff here. We got the new drone paralysis and a whole bunch of other stuff. It is on the test server this weekend. And as you see, this is what that little bad boy looks like. It's got the cool little laser beam shooting out of the front. Really like that. And then its ability is Lockdowner. Enables all the robot's weapons to apply Lockdown. 1.6% effect accumulation per shot. Okay, so I think um, things like anti-control and the, the chip control resistor are going to start being very, very big. So this is negative 60% accumulation. So that's going to negate some of the effects of this drone, but not all of it. And then for what else we have new, right here we have the Terminal Renovator chip. This is going to be a big one, guys. I can already see it already. This is going to be a favorite of mine. I can't wait to get these on the live server and put these in my hangar. This is going to be big. It said if the robot destroys an enemy robot, repairs a portion of its durability immediately so at tier four it's going to re, uh, repair 18 percent now let's check out the other levels i got all three here just so you guys could see the purple does 10 percent and the blue five percent so you guys already know they I'll, I'll be shooting for um the t4 hopefully i can get it because it's nearly double of what the tier three is Pretty crazy, pretty cool stuff. And then let's go on over. So we got the Fafnir is back this weekend with the uh, the new weapons, Scotty. See right there. And then also on the Hawk, we have the Heavy, which is the, the Hyle. And then the Light, which is the Snare. Let's hop right into a gameplay and see how these babies purr. I've really been looking forward to this. Hopefully they um, they fix the visual um, bug where it wasn't showing like the death beam shooting out or there wasn't any sound of it either. Um, I really couldn't tell the difference of uh, the damage coming out either. So hopefully we could see that difference now. Ooh, Nighttime Shenzhen, one of my favorites. Let's hop on in, guys. Isn't this map beautiful? I love the nighttime version. So, so cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How many of you guys um, went out to the test server this weekend? And if you did, tell me what you thought about it. Ooh, baby. Look at that. Oh. Yes, we got the kill. Now this guy has wasps over here. The danger. Up to avoid the damage. This guy's smart. it so good okay we got another one flying up right here yes 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 loving this thing man this is a fun fun robot guys you guys know how i love my fun robots this is a fun one no doubt about it oh i get taken out of the sky good play good good play See, when you're up there, once that purple shield runs out, you don't have any resistance, you don't have anything, so you're going to get taken out quick. So you've got to play it careful, guys. Play it careful. So this isn't an ultimate destroyer bot. It is fragile up close. Um, we'll have to see what it's really like 
once we, it comes to the live server and we get the full effect. You never can get the full effect in the test server since all these things are low level. How the heck did someone get that kill? Was there... Oh, okay, there was two guys over there I didn't see because their names were blended into the building. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> okay, that guy's camping up on the roof. This dude's kind of just out and about. He's all right with me. Can we get the kill? Ah, he was able to sl slip behind the building. Fair play, GG's to you. Take this guy out. Ooh, someone death marked me. Yes, got him on the way down. I, I got a feeling there's a scorpion. I knew it. I felt it. I was just about to say, I got a feeling there's a scorpion around here somewhere. And there he was. I felt it, man. My spider sense was tingling, literally. Guy gonna hawk me up. He's gonna hawk me up. Oh, good, good play. Good, good play. See, I'm not really um, used to playing these bots yet. I don't know the little intricacies of them yet. But I'll tell you right now, I love flying robots. They're so, so much fun. Uh, my first flying robot that I fell in love with was the Al June, and then the second was the Hawk. So I'm really, really looking forward to this thing coming to the live server. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that wasn't the guy I was going after. Okay, boom. Right. Nice. Ah. Hear things going on all around. Don't creep out just yet. Kill. Boom! Okay, that guy was not taking damage. That's a tough dude right there, whatever he's got. Man, I want some of that. Okay. Okay, they're creeping up on me. They're creeping up on me. My ability is not ready yet. Now it is. Ooh. Ooh. GG's, fair play. All right, the Titan's ready, um, but I'm not ready for the Titan yet. Let, let's play with this a little bit more. I'm not ready for the Titan. I'm here to test this out. Uh, maybe I'll take the Hawk out and put another one of these guys in there. I just want to throw the Hawk in there. It kind of like is just a little bit of a comparison so you can guys can see like side by side um, which does more damage. Um, while in the air, the, the Hawk is more protected. That's for certain, um, but in the sky for a long time with the Fafnir. Only problem being is once that purple shield runs out, you are super, super, super vulnerable. I'm talking super vulnerable. Let's go up, hit him with the ability, see what happens. Um, I don't see any death beam. It doesn't seem like it's very powerful if there is one. Ooh, can we get him? Can we get him? He's locked. Oh, we couldn't get finished the kill. We were able to pepper that guy with some shots through the building. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Man, that lockdown effect applies pretty quick, dudes. Pretty, pretty quick. You know what? That was pretty tough. I was able to take the majority of that Minos down. Um, and look how fast he got locked. Wow, this is Morales' drone. Jeez. Okay. Take this guy out. Oh, we get taken out. Alright, let's drop in with the old node ends. Heal the teammate as we do. That guy a little love. little far out there I don't have I'm not in range yet getting in there now but he has a shield up Ooh, my teammates are all on him 
They are on him. Come on, bud. Go right there. Hmm. I couldn't even get a shot on him. Okay. Teammates over there. Ooh, that's a new robot. I'm gonna nerf him in the air. Oh, there's another new robot over there. Lots of these new robots out here. I like that people are testing it, because a lot of times on these test servers, they'll just play like the newest robot that hit the live server and not the uh, not the one that was supposed to be testing. Alright. This match looks like it's over. We'll run one more for you guys. I had a feeling he still had one more bot left, but I wasn't 100% sure. Ooh, there's actually two more! Wow, okay. Unfortunately, I got the cannibal reactors on here, so I'm not going to do good damage no matter what. So, the best I can do in this situation is just heal my teammates up. Healing. That's one thing you don't see. You don't see many people uh, healing each other on this test server. So I'm sure they are very happy to be getting healed. Because I know I would love to be when I'm playing. And I never get healed on this thing. Ooh, that looks like a type. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ooh. Slippery little devil, isn't he? <laughs> He's running for his life. Alright, my teammates got him. GG's. Alright. Celebrate! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yes, get everybody going. Start shooting. Yes! <laughs> Victory! Alright, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more. I didn't want to leave you with just one game. I wanted to get you some more action, show you what this stuff is all about. Um, dropping in here with the Fafnir. And keep in mind, I didn't uh, deck these out or anything like that. So they're pretty much standard the way they come. Um, all I did was add the drone. I didn't change any weapon modules or anything like that on the robots. Um, I just want to see this new stuff in action. Going into phase shift to avoid that damage. Go up in the air. Ooh. Okay, so this is actually the first game I played, and um, I didn't have the, the drones dialed in. The first game you saw, it's actually the second game I played, and that's when I had the drones dialed in. So you see they're doing a lot more damage. So this is, this is kind of what I wanted to tell you guys. On the test server and in the live server, drones are very, very powerful. The weapon levels and robots levels matter too, but the majority of where the power comes from is these drones. So when you see those maxed out players that are super tough to kill, you know, they're running the nebula or the, uh, or the glider, or if they take you out real quick, they're running the eye, the wasp, or the uh, octane. That's what you're going to see out there in the battlefield. Now we got this new addition, this paralysis drone, and it seems to apply that lockdown effect pretty, pretty quickly. Kind of crazy. Didn't have the individual target lock, so I just wanted to put that on there. I love having the ability to switch to the targets when I want to. Ooh, can we take him out from the long range? See, after that purple shield runs out when you're in the air, guys, you get very, very, very vulnerable. 
so I had to go into that phase shift to save my life or I would have got taken out up there. I'm trying to use cover, corner shoot, but I'm getting hit from the flank with those wasps who are hitting hard. Get taken out. Alright, we're going to drop in with the old Scorpion. So this one has the glider drone with the uh, terminal renovator that we were talking about. This little bad boy is pretty, pretty nice, guys. Pretty nice. I can't wait to get this onto my robot. I cannot wait. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna try to take that shield down. That blue shield's very, very handy. It absorbs the sonic um, weapons. Double kill, very nice. Okay, just peeking to see who is at what distance. Um, I'm backing up because I'm actually close to his range. So I want to back up, giving him the false sense of security that I'm a little bit out of his range. That's how you take people off guard. Okay, now we're going in for the kill. Boom, boom, triple kill. Very good. Man, we're going on the rampage with this little scorpion. Ooh, getting hit from all sides. I like those new weapons. I like them a lot better than I did uh, the past couple weeks. I don't know if they tweaked them a little bit, but they feel a little bit better than they used to, which is very nice. I'm really looking forward to these coming to the live server. Um, with the previous rebalance we just had right now, I feel like everything's in a pretty good spot. Um, there really isn't a dominant robot, a dominant weapon. Everything is kind of uh, where it should be. Boom, we get the double kill with this guy. Oh, the one thing I noticed about him this week, his wings don't expand when you fly up, which is a bummer because that was one of my favorite parts, man. He looked like Batman flying up in the sky. But anyways, like I was saying on the live server, everything seems to be fairly balanced for the, for the most part. So I'm just waiting for that new overpower thing to come, and I think it's going to be this robot and these weapons. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm saving up my silver. My silver and my gold because we're going to need pilots too. So I'm going to stop leveling everything up right now. I'm in just resource saving mode. Ooh, flies up. Now could you imagine these guys with uh, a Demeter coming in to save him and heal him um, on his way down. I, I could already see uh, the meta clan battles that's going to be going down with this thing. I'm really looking forward to when this comes to the live server. Hopefully it comes in the next event, but we'll see. Okay, flying up. Yeah, you can see again the wings don't expand anymore this week. So I hope they fix that because that is one of my favorite things. It looks so cool. It looks like the old Batman movies. Okay, dropping up here so I get a good perspective of who's where. It's a pretty close battle. It's very, very close. Yeah, and this, this paralysis drone um, combined with the, these new weapons that we have, it's going to be a lethal combo because the drone applies the, the lockdown effect fairly quickly and these weapons apply lockdown effects quickly as well. So combined, you're going to get a super, super quick lock. It's 1.6%. Um, a T4 chip is 0.6% I believe it's either 0.5 or 0.6 so it's over double that which is nuts hey flying on up oh. 
I don't know about you guys, but I really looked at, forward to these test servers. I can't wait for the weekends to come so I can get up and play them. For some reason, I couldn't get mine to work today until the later in the afternoon. The old version was posted in the link, and it wouldn't work for me until the afternoon. Ooh, <laughs> I, get, I get hung up on here. I don't know if you guys remember. So when the Hawk first came out, that sucker used to get hung up on everything when you would try to land. Everything, everything, everything. And I can already see it's going to be the same with this guy. Sonic, if you're listening, when you make these flying robots, they need to have smooth bodies. They can't have like protrusions. Um, when they have protrusions like that, they get hung up. Now, I don't know if that's part of the design philosophy as a balancing factor, so you have to pay attention to your landings better, but it always is a factor with these flying robots. It was with the Hawk, and now it is again with the Fafnir. Appreciate you guys so, so much. Keep coming back.